Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, congratulations on just oh. a wonderful run. Thank you. Well done. Uh, you were talking a tough question. We were talking about screenplays earlier in the tournament. If you had an assignment at UVA to, to write a screenplay about your emergence here and uh, coming coming out beating so many players, uh, reaching the semis, sort of out of nowhere in a way, uh, what, what would be the narrative? Well, I don't... I definitely don't think anybody would have put their money on me to uh, get this far in the tournament. Um, so that would probably be in there. I, I certainly um, have been a big underdog, and I think I've held that title really well and fought my hardest. And I think that can be in there. And yeah, I think people can make it whatever they want to make it. And uh, there's a lot of positives to take away from this. And um, yeah, it's been a um, incredible run. Unfortunately, I wish the narrative could have been different for me today, but um, a lot to be proud of, and um, I think a lot to build off of. Um, the match started under very different conditions to how it finished. What was your opinion of the roof being closed? Yeah, um, it is what it is. That's what they do. I think that no matter what the situation is, if it's really hot, if it's you know, they need to start the match the way it's going to finish, I think. I think they do that in football. And um, I think it certainly changed a little bit of the rhythm in the match. Um, but, again, it is what it is, and that's the decision they made. And she played really great tennis, and I think that should probably be the focus of the conversation. <laughs> it's pretty hot just walking around but as a Floridian. Were you enjoying the heat when it when the roof was open or was it even much for, for you? Yeah, honestly, I like playing in the heat. Um, don't get me wrong, it, it certainly has its challenges, but I grew up in Florida and am used to it being really hot all the time. Um, so I kind of, yeah, embrace that very well and um, indoor different Indoor tennis is a different game. Um, it certainly had its effect. <clears throat> You've had some luminaries, including um, Keith Urban, Anna Wintour, Nicole Kidman, that were right behind you um, when in your first game. At any point when you're going toward the baseline, are you aware that you're playing in front of um, these people, and what is that like? Yeah, obviously a very talented and successful group of people, but um, quite honestly, I was just kind of focused on what I was doing and the awesome people that have been with me um, through the very beginning. Uh, I've got my cousin and my best friend here, and every time I look in my box, I see her supporting me the entire way through. She's been there for me since day one, and having Stein and Matt and everybody at home, all of my family members, um, all of the incredible support I've had from the USTA and IMG. Um, so, yeah, I think I pay attention to those people a little bit more, to be honest, because I know they, um, they're always going to be here for me. So. I was just thinking it's a little different than a college match. Yeah, it's a little different than a college match. Um, but it's nice when you're able to have a team of people around you that are always helping and supporting you. And um, I kind of like, you know, that having that. I miss my team that I had during in college, um, but it's a new experience for me now being on tour and, and being out there by myself. Springboards you up quite a bit in terms of your ranking and also just in terms of being a name people will know now in tennis. I'm curious how you think that's going to be. If you're, if you're excited for that, if you it's going to be bring different sort of expectations or pressures or what you think the road ahead holds. Yeah. Um, I think last year I did a really great job of um, showing people in Miami, Indian Wells, San Jose, plenty of tournaments throughout the year, Eastbourne, that I can play at this level. And I think I've justified that. Um, maybe some people thought I was a one-hit wonder, it was a fluke, and clearly none of this has been a fluke. And I think there's a lot of great things to build off of. And I think um, I had a really great learning experience throughout the entire tournament, and especially today. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited for uh, my success to be recognized and um, to continue playing on the biggest stage and against the biggest and best opponents in the world. What did you learn today? I think um, I learned that 
experience plays a big role in, in tennis. And Petra is an incredible champion, and I think there's a lot to learn off of um, what she does on the court. Um, I think she went out and played fearless tennis. Um, so I think all credit to her. Um, I also, I mean, this was my first semifinal of a Grand Slam, and it was the first time I've played main draw here in Australia. Um, so it's kind of showed me, no matter what the situation, I can handle it very well and um, compete my hardest and play my best tennis in important situations. And when I'm also not playing my best tennis, I think I do very well. Um, so yeah, I think there's a lot of great takeaways. And yeah, I could probably write a whole book after this tournament. <laughs> You mentioned uh, previously about how the award that you received, the financial award, uh, really helped you were able to get uh, a team around you. Do you think you would have gotten this far, uh, this fast, without the Oracle Award? Um, yeah, it's kind of a, I guess, a hypothetical question, so we wouldn't really know unless it happens if I didn't have the award. Um, but yeah, I think the award has helped me in so many ways. Um, I'm so grateful for um, Mark Hurd to have stepped up to the plate and made college tennis important um, before Oracle, Oracle's involvement with college tennis. College tennis was not really on the map. Um, people didn't watch a lot of college tennis matches. It was not recognized like it is now. and. Um, having that grant did allow me to handle my career the right way from the very beginning. Um, and I was able to bypass a lot of, I don't want to say, I, I certainly experienced the grind of having to play smaller tournaments, not making a lot of money, um, going to cities that maybe weren't on my bucket list. <laughs> um, but I think I was never having to um, really worry that much financially. Um, I wasn't having to uh, cut corners in terms of doing housing every week or not having a coach or not having the best people around me. Um, so I think that that award has played into every inch of success that I have had since being on tour.